Right guys, hello and I've for you. What we're going to do today is look at our Shield TV and customise the remote control. I'm sure many of you are looking to repurpose the Netflix button. Uh, you find it's far too sensitive, it feels like you so much as breathe on it. It loads Netflix. You're trying to watch something on Disney Plus and then it loads Netflix. So unfortunately we can't change this within the Shield TV settings itself. We need to install some software to stop it doing that. So I'll show you how this is done. I'm going to go up to where it says home on the dashboard across to apps I'm going to come down on the remote and it says open the Google Play Store so we'll select that and we're going to push up on the remote go left to search and come down which rests on the microphone icon so we can select that with the remote buttons remapper far easier to speak it than it is to type all of that in so it's found the app for us option to install it will select. Now you can see it's got a 2.9 out of 5 star rating which doesn't sound great but I never read too much into user reviews. There's always someone that can't figure something out, automatically give it one star, give call it garbage. There will be people that have legitimate issues, maybe they updated, did an update on the Shield TV, it took away the permissions for Buttons Remapper and that's why it stopped working. They didn't realise that. Um, maybe there are issues with the app, but you'd like to think the developer would update the app to fix these problems. So it's telling me I can open it now, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to teach you another shortcut in case you don't know it. We've got our triangle button and there's a circle button, which is above the microphone button. I'm going to double tap that circle. This is the task manager. I can go down, dismiss the Play Store away. So I'm going to push up, go to the top, across to settings. We're going to select settings. We're going to go to device preferences and we're going to find accessibility. So there we go. And we see we've got services and we've got buttons remapper has been added. So let's select that. So I just said you need to enable a permission for it. So this is what we're doing. Now it gives me a warning. Use buttons remapper. Buttons remapper can collect all of the text that you type except passwords. This includes personal data such as credit card numbers. And some of you be panicking reading this and you think, I don't want to do this. Fair enough, you can cancel, uninstall the app. You don't have to watch any more of the video. But let's just explain what's happening. We need to give it a permission. We need it to know what the remote is doing, what buttons we are pressing. So think of the remote as a keyboard. So if it knew what the keyboard was typing, it could theoretically collect some data that's being typed. But it's telling us it can't get the passwords, so it can't get our Netflix or Disney Plus passwords. It just knows what buttons we're pushing. Now they've used credit card numbers as an example, as like a doomsday scenario, but they need to do this and point out that these things can be abused if you don't trust the developer. Well, I know I'm not going to add my credit card number for a start to the Shield TV. There's no data that I'm possibly going to add through this remote that is of any use to the developer. But I'm, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I understand. But for all of those that you want to proceed, let's do OK. Because there's plenty of other apps that might want permissions to use a microphone or use your camera or access your files and folders. If it's a file manager app, that's how you're going to delete files and copy and paste things. So it's just a warning. So we've opened up Buttons Remapper. We can see the service is enabled because we gave it that permission. Uh, we don't need to toggle notifications. Now, same premium features. I think it's £1.99 uh, to pay for it. Now, we don't actually need to pay for it. Everything we want to do, we can do for free. But if this is helping you out, it stopped you pulling your hair out, you might want to give £2 to the developer as a thank you. Uh, just to point out, there is the Google Rewards you can get on the Google Play Store for your phone. They'll give you surveys to fill out every now and again, and they give you credit. So 25p might be 50p, depends on the survey, but it doesn't take you long to save up some credit that you can spend on the Google Play Store for purchases for apps. Um, so now you know. Let's head down to the bottom where it's got the plus icon. We're going to select that, and we're going to move up to short and long press, and we're going to select that. So it says new action key. So I don't think key, think button on our remote. As we press down, we've got that downward facing arrow next to back. It's not the back key we're trying to change. We want to change the Netflix button. So let's select there, go down to other. And it's saying, well, you can press the needed button. Well, our needed button is the Netflix button. So I'm going to tap that, which has come up as button 12. We'll leave the long press unselected. It's telling me that it's going to block the system action of Netflix, but we can choose a different action. So let's select do nothing. So tapping it will do nothing at all. 
OK. So let's head back down and let's do the add button again and move up to short and long press. So this time we'll go choose our key, our button. So again, we'll go to other, tap our Netflix button, button 12. But this time let's, let's do a long press. So it's saying 0 0.5 seconds. You can make it a second, two seconds or more, whatever you're comfortable with. Half a second's fine for me. Uh, we're going to do another action. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom to other. I'm going to open an app. So maybe you still want it to open Netflix. Uh, you just didn't want it to be as sensitive. Maybe you want to open Plex. Maybe you want to open Disney Plus. You've got a Disney Plus subscription, not Netflix. Uh, I'm going to do Cody. So we'll choose Cody. 0 0.5 seconds. OK. Now nothing has shown up under active actions. I'm just going to do that shortcut, close button remapper. Let's open it again. And we can see active actions. So do nothing on button 12 with a short click. Uh, button 12, long press, zero and a half seconds, open Cody. Perfect. So let's test it out. Tap in the Netflix button. It's not opening Netflix. So let's long press it. And I've gone into Cody. So whatever you've chosen, whether it's Disney Plus or Plex or whatever you wanted to do. Now, the reason that I've chosen to do Cody is like a lot of people, I don't really like the Shield TV home screen. I spend 90% of my time when I'm on the Shield TV using Kodi to watch my backed up movies and TV shows and access my live TV. I've got a TV tuner on the network. So it's super convenient. I can just press that Netflix button for half a second and go straight into Kodi. I can tell Kodi when it opens to just play live TV automatically and then I can stop it and, and do something else. We've also got action uh, options to do other actions like the Android apps. So you could load Disney Plus from in here, you could load Netflix from in here, you can load any of the Android apps. Uh, HD Home Runs for my TV tuner, but I've got that built into Kodi anyway. Live Channels is for accessing TV. Uh, there's Netflix, there's Plex, Pluto TV, whatever apps you've got installed. So I can long press on them, add them to favorites to make it a little bit easier to load them within Kodi. So Kodi has what they're called skins or themes, like different looks. This is called Embry. Uh, another one I quite like is called Amber. It's really up to you. But uh, yeah, as I say, this is what I use the Shield TV the most for watching back my movies and TVs are backed up. So we can come out of Kodi. So we're in our app section. So we can see buttons remapper there. So it's long press on it. So we can uninstall it if you want. I'm going to move it so things are kind of in an alphabetical order. Makes it a little bit easier to find it. So there we go. So if I power down the Shield TV, I'll wake it back up. Tap the Netflix button. Long press. There we go, back into Kodi. So we'll leave the video there, guys. Hopefully it's helped you out. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Whatever it is you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.